Well, you may have seen in early films when the photographers would be carrying one of these uh, flash lamps here. Okay, and there's a little ridge here, and on the ridge we have some magnesium powder and another metal, aluminium, aluminium powder. And this is going to react in a moment, but not with the oxygen from the air, but with oxygen from another chemical called sodium perchlorate. Okay? So we're going to put an electric current across here, which should trigger this reaction. And this is exactly the same sort of thing that early photographers used to do, used to hold this themselves. Well, I'm not going to hold it. <laughs> I'm going to step back here. Okay, so we'll have a countdown again. Three, two, one. There we are. There's a rather nice smoke ring just forming at the top. And the smoke that we get that's settled to the top of the lecture theatre there, well, this is the same sort of thing that you'd have if you have indigestion. It's magnesium oxide. You may have heard of milk of magnesia that can sometimes settle your stomach if you're feeling a bit ill. Well, this is the smoke that you see at the top of the theatre now. You may well have seen other metals combining with oxygen. In fact, on November the 5th, you would probably be noticing these. Here we have a sparkler. And this is, of course, uh, burning iron. These little sparkles that we see from the sparkler are due to um, iron filings that are heated so hot they glow. Well, perhaps we ought to find these elements that we've been looking at on our periodic table then. So here we are. So in the flash, we had magnesium. There we are, magnesium, very good. We also had aluminium. Yes, over here, very good. Okay. And the sparklers contained iron, and the symbol for iron is Fe, perum. Very good. So, this gives us a clue, actually, as to the way the modern lamps actually work. 